you know, you went through 60 games in 66 days, the condensed uh, season that was not really in a bubble at all. And I know you're a huge hockey fan. You know the NHL is planning to return at some point in 2021. Hopefully it's in January. What advice would you give to NHL players based on what you and your teammates went through this past summer, considering that they're probably about to do something similar? Yeah, so we had the generic kind of everybody at their home stadium, but Mm -hmm. it it was more of the honor system we had, whereas the NHL, especially for the Stanley Cup, was the bubble where no one was allowed in or out. And they had zero issues whatsoever. They were fantastic with it. Um, This year with opening it up, it'll be very interesting because obviously you're not only dealing with just the one team in a different country where you can relocate them inside the States, but you're now dealing with almost half the league. Seven, yeah. North north of the border. So it'll be interesting what they do, whether they have the Canadian teams all playing one because right now they're handling the pandemic a little bit better or whether you split it up into the same thing we did was West Coast, East Coast, and Central. Mm -hmm. It'd be very interesting to see what they do, but at the end of the day, it's just hold each other accountable. Um, That's the biggest thing that we found out. We uh, We had one issue and that was a miscommunication that should never have happened, but it did. Um, and our biggest thing now is making sure that that doesn't happen if this goes into next year. But for hockey guys, it's hold each other accountable. If someone goes out and does something stupid, do what Cleveland did. Don't be afraid to drop the hammer on somebody to make sure that everyone knows that, hey, stop messing around. This is now playing with not only people's lives, but right. this is not only playing with our career, but people's lives. Stop doing it or else you won't have a job. And at that point, it, there needs to be sh- strict guidelines on what to do. And that's the only way anyone's gonna be ever going to learn. It's the strictness. It's the the capabilities. I mean, obviously, they're all around each other. It's tight-knit community. They can't exactly social distance in their um, in their uh, in their benches. So it's one of those things where it's it's going to be a lot of interesting, uh, very interesting to see how it goes in hockey. And, and hopefully, it does better than the NFL is doing right now because they're uh, – I feel like every day I'm looking and there's three guys that are missing from a team – based upon COVID right. regulations or anything like that. So I think the NBA did a fantastic job with the bubble. The NHL did a great job with the bubble. MLB was what, four hours away from having a great job with our bubble. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's just one of those things. The bubble obviously works, but this is where it gets serious, is the fact that when people coming in and out and making sure that it's good. And hopefully we can get some fans back in these games because at the end of the day, this is – that's who we play for. We don't play yeah. for recognition. We don't play for like stardom or anything like that. You play – to be in front of you play a game we're playing a game and the fact that if you have fans in the stands it makes everything way more enjoyable 